Hey guys, welcome back to Paralyzed with Love. My name is Maddie and I talk all things chronic illness and how to live a great life despite your circumstances. This week, I thought that I would take you along with me, a bit of a kind of vlog about life with chronic illness, at least my experience with it. Today, I've got a few appointments. It's Monday and uh, the first one is kind of like my rehab uh, physio exercise stuff. So let's head off to there. So I'm going to make my way there. Um, I really want to brush my teeth because I have coffee breath before there. So I don't know, I might use their bathroom or something. Um, and I'll see how that goes. Um, and then on the rest of the day. Okay, I am over the road from the dentist. I'm actually feeling quite nervous. If you don't know much about gastroparesis, um, which is like kind of my main illness at the moment, um, First off, I have a video on it, um, which I'll link down below. And then secondly, it causes for me um, a lot of reflux and vomiting. You can probably hear it in my voice. Like my voice doesn't normally sound like I'm have been smoking for 20 years. Um, and I had to get a feeling uh, about six months ago now because of the damage that it had done to one of my teeth um, and the enamel and things. And I've just put so much effort into my teeth. Like my mum and dad got me braces. Um, and yeah, I just like, I know it seems like such a stupid, like superficial thing, but I've put so much effort into my teeth and I am so nervous that I'm going to have to get another feeling or whatever. I've been doing everything that she tells me to do. Um, I use this stuff called tooth mousse that helps with enamel and things like that um which i'll also link down below because it's really good As, um at least in australia you, you can get it in the chemist i bought mine from chemist warehouse um yeah so i'm feeling a bit nervous but i know that i have to get it done and i really want to keep having these like regular six month checks and um all of that and keep like learning more from my dentist about what to do and just keep doing my best so that is what's happening. I have about 20 minutes, but I'm chronically early um, to my appointment. And I'm gonna go in, brush my teeth, and then I'm just gonna sit down and scroll Instagram or something and just like get my mind off it. And I'm sure it will be fine. I'll see you probably in like an hour and tell you how it all went. Okay, so it actually went better than I was expecting. Um, still not awesome. I do have to get a feeling in a couple of weeks um, because of all of the acid, it's decaying like between them. 
Um, but she said that I'm doing everything that I can do. Um, keep using the tooth mousse and the kind of like routine that I've been keeping up. So that's, I feel a lot better. I think, you know, when you like build something up so much in your head and then it's not as bad as what you picture. <laughs> that was exactly what happened. So I feel a lot better. Um, I actually have a little bit of time before my next appointment. Um, so I'm going to go home and sit with Mags, um, who's our dog, and then Buster, who's my sister's dog, uh, who's a little brown short haired one because he's not feeling very well so he's come over to stay with us for the day before um, my sister and her fiance take him to the vet so um, I'll go give them a bit of a cuddle and then I have to head out to my pelvic physio after that hey Max hey darling hey. good girl you looking after Buster are you Buster Hey, hey, you're not well, darling. You're not feeling well. Hey, guys. Happy Tuesday. Uh, sorry I didn't check in for the rest of yesterday. I ended up sleeping for three hours yesterday afternoon and um, then I caught up with my best friend Elle and we just watched some RuPaul's Drag Race. We're still a season behind on the UK one, but it's amazing so far. Um, and yeah, to be honest, I'm struggling mentally. Um, I feel really exhausted had a lot of um, pain and just like GI stuff going on. So if you can hear traffic, I thought I'd film outside because it's like the nicest day of our Hobart's decided it's summer. Um, and yeah, today I have a Zola shop with my allergist. I have to be there, I think for 45 minutes now. And um, after the shot, just to make sure that you don't have any kind of major reactions which I haven't had yet and then I have my GP and that is it uh, Buster my sister's dog is with us for another day he went to the vet yesterday and they think that um, he's like pulled a muscle or hurt um, something in his back they did lots of blood tests and stuff and ruled out any sort of like nasty organ things um, so hopefully it's just, <laughs> he's running up now. I'll show you. <laughs> hey, Bada. Basta. Basta. <laughs> hey, tell everyone how you're going. Hey. Yeah, so that's up first. That's today. Uh, I do have to go to the chemist first, so we'll go to the chemist, and then I'll um, go to biologist. Bye. Bye, you two. <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm at my GP now. I am feeling very emotional. I, like, I almost had a panic attack um, at my allergist just then. Held it together, very proud of myself. Um, came out of there and just stopped my car at my GP and um, had a text from my best friend Elle just saying something nice and burst into tears. So, <laughs> and I'm just feeling raw and emotional and um, great combination of things really. I'm overwhelmed. I, um, I got an email from my pelvic physio uh, with like three surveys that I had to fill out for her to send off to my gynae, which I'm so appreciative that she's going to so much effort um, to update my gynae for when I see her next week. Um, 
but like that even just felt like such a chore and like so much effort and um I think it's always when things like that happen where normally um you know it wouldn't be effort I would just do it and get it over and done with I mean they probably took you max five minutes to do and I just did them while I was waiting at my other appointment um and yeah it's when things like that feel so difficult that I realize where my mental health's at so I think I'm gonna sit outside um later on today and maybe play a little bit of guitar or something um chill out with Buster and Mags and just enjoy the rest of this sunny day because I swear it's like 40 degrees <laughs> it is so hot um it's Tasmanian hot so I mean anything over 10 is boiling but it does feel really hot I'm gonna go sit outside before my GP they call you um just because of like COVID and things they call you in when um they're ready for you to actually go into the practice so I'm gonna go sit outside try and read a bit of my book because I didn't even get past <laughs> one page at my appointment in 45 minutes that's where my concentration's at um so I'm gonna go do that and just sit outside in the shade and enjoy the heat I'm getting really sweaty with the car aircon off so I'm gonna have to go but GP next My GP was really good. I'm really um, glad that I got to see her today, actually. I think it was perfect. Having a good GP that you trust is just so bloody important. Um, so I got to see her, I got scripts that I need, talked about some specialists on like how to um, split up which symptoms to talk about to which specialist because I've been kind of struggling with that getting overwhelmed with um, kind of everything that's going on in different body parts and I don't really know what part to talk about to who so that was really good um, I think I'm gonna um, make an ice latte I, I know that it might not sit well with my tummy but I just want one and I'm gonna sit out on the deck um, with Mags and Basta and just enjoy the sunshine and the view and have a quiet afternoon. <music>
Tuesday. I can't remember if I've actually checked in. I woke up feeling pretty average um, and so I couldn't drive. My mum took me to um, catch up with my friend Amanda before my psychiatrist. It was really nice to see her um, and I was feeling okay and then I had my psychiatrist um, and that just like kept feeling a little bit worse and now I'm just feel so nauseous, can't see out of my left eye um, and I'm pretty sure that a migraine's coming on. Um, so my dad is coming to get me and take me home. I was supposed to have like a, a solo session like I did on Monday at my physios but um, I just am not going to be able to do that, which is disappointing, but that's just the way it is. So, yeah. heading home, I'll catch up with you later. wake up from a big sleep um, and I've just been pretty unwell for the last few hours um, it's like 5 30 and I got home at around 11 30 so been a while but I think that I'm past like the worst of like the migraine and things like that and I think that I'm gonna end this video here because otherwise we'll be here for uh, hours <laughs> Um, thanks so much for coming along today for my first vlog. I hope it was okay. Um, and I'd love to kind of hear any feedback on, um, what you liked, what you didn't like, what you think I could change for vlog format. If you liked today's video, I would love, um, if you let me know as well. And if you'd like to see some more vlogs kind of day in my life with chronic illness style things. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, share it with friends, um, and I'll leave the link to my website below as well, which has heaps of blog posts, tips, um, and I'll also leave a link to my Instagram and Facebook below. We have such a cool community and um, heaps of people just supporting each other through some hard times so thanks for coming along guys don't forget life is tough but so <laughs>